contained within this section of the manuscript is a fight between a man and a woman. It's a type of duel, a dispute that has to be settled by combat to the death. It's the first appearance of man-woman dueling in a fight book. This image of a woman battling a man is a far cry from the image of the medieval woman uninvolved in the violent world of men. Medieval women were much more powerful than they've been given credit for. And especially through the 14th century, uh, they gained more power and were able to run businesses and things like that. And it was only the Renaissance uh, when things started to go wrong and uh, women were seen as more passive and uh, inactive. The evidence in the manuscript suggests that in some cases, women were even able to fight a man in a judicial duel. This is a really, really difficult image to decipher because certainly what you do have at this time are very strong women. I mean, women are left to run castles while their men are off fighting. It's laid out as if this is something that did happen, but you wonder what the kind of legal reason for that would have been. A man and a woman might be forced to fight like this because of any number of disputes. It might involve property, it might involve inheritance, it might involve accusations. This is a ritual combat, it's a semi-religious affair, and they know that only one of them can emerge alive. Even more disturbing than judicial battles often being fought to the death is that some interpretations of the text imply that the combatants may have even been husband and wife. A recreation of the duel could provide valuable insight into why the couple was forced to fight in such a bizarre manner. It would be interesting to reconstruct one of these judicial combats as a living archaeological experiment to understand something about the physical components of the fighting actions and the techniques and also something of the mental and emotional component of the combatants. The hole and the weapon fulfilled multiple functions. Firstly, they balanced out the fighting inequality between the sexes. And secondly, just like the judicial shields, the weapons were deemed suitable for commoners. They gave her a heavy rock inside of her veil to use it like it's a flail. It's not a manly weapon, it's not a war weapon, it's not a self-defense tool, but they're clearly saying, here, you can use this, it's gonna be lethal. Bash his skull in. Bettany Hughes will test the effectiveness of a rock in a veil against the skull of a sheep. When you're up close with all this gear, you realize this was certainly not play fighting. I mean, this thing is heavy in my hands. And I imagine just one of these is gonna be a killing blow. That is actually sickening, because if you can imagine that would have been a real man's head. He would never have survived a blow like that. So if Tauhofer was depicting reality rather than just some theory, then this would have caused a huge amount of suffering in the medieval world. 